Now is October 2019. I'm reviewing a series of periodontal abscesses I have on the upper right quadrant here. This tooth and this tooth here, the bone is pretty high. So that's more or less the start of the abscess complex. And then it goes all the way back, all the way back. So that was a pretty desperate situation. Roughly seven years ago, in September 2012, I cleared a series of abscesses on this bicuspid, which is wiggly, and also this first molar. It caused me a lot of trouble. The way I cleaned it out followed classic military theory, which is called double envelopment flanking maneuver. Okay, the idea of this maneuver is that you have an enemy, in this case it's the calculus, you come around the sides and you attack the enemy at its weakest point. Eventually what happens is it is it rolls up the enemy because you have a massive force against a smaller amount of the enemy. If you try to go after the calculus directly in bulk, it's just not going to come off. So what you have to do is find weak points and you also have to find ways of getting to the weak points. So you can have a lot of infection that's, that's deeper in, and you can't really get access to the infection very easily. If you look at this diagram here, what tends to happen is that the gum clings to the calculus, and then when you come down with the instrument, it just kind of bounces off, so you never actually get down to the infection. So what I did in this case was I came in between the bicuspid and the molar and I worked my way along the bicuspid which is right here and I got that to open up. At that point it opened up the area along the molar so I was able to put my instrument up there with the molar and then somehow I was able to travel all the way across along the back of the molar and then I was able to come back along the molar and remove the calculus there. So more or less I attacked the calculus from two sides. Originally I attacked it from the near flank and then I traveled behind the molar to the far flank and then I more or less rolled up the calculus from the far flank. So in this way I imitated the uh, classic military maneuver, the double envelopment flanking strategy. And the result is that this tooth, the bicuspid, is still alive. It's very, very loose. It's been loose for the last seven years, but you know, it's, it's still there. The molar Believe it or not, the molar is pretty tight. It moves a little bit, but not much. It's time to get back to that molar, but it's certainly a lot better than it was. That thing was a disaster. That was a hopeless molar, and now it's got a chance to survive. The second molar, that was pretty remarkable too, because the bone broke all the way through. So it went all the way up in my sinuses. But I was able to clean that out, didn't get the tooth pulled, which is what the dentist wanted to do. <laughs> Eventually what happened was it kind of healed over and there's actually like a little bit of bone-like material that's replaced the hole. So a little bit of bone is a good thing. Your other option is no bone at all. So basically these teeth survived seven years after a pretty horrible series of periodontal abscesses.